All right, so Clip Studio actually up, had an update last week, December 10th, and uh, I actually want just want to talk about uh, this new feature that was introduced in this update, which is the time lapse feature, and uh, it's actually really cool. It's a really cool feature. Uh, I actually used used it to record my process for this uh, key level drawing right here, and uh, I just want to show you how you can also create time lapse videos in Clip Studio Paint. And uh, yeah, so let's just get to it. So uh, first, I guess I'll just show you my time lapse real quick of this. So I'm just gonna pull up the video real quick. All right. So here's the video. I'm gonna start it over. And like I said, uh, this is a new feature in Clip Studio Paint where you can actually record your canvas uh, as a time lapse and uh, export it as a video. <clears throat> all just all in the program too. So. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. It's a quick little 30 seconds. You can make it up to 60 seconds, I believe. Uh, and that's fine. You don't really need anything uh, longer than that, just for the purposes of this. Uh, I think that this that feature is fine, up to 60 second videos. Uh, if you wanna record anything longer, <clears throat> you can download like a screen recorder or anything, or something like that. But uh, yeah, this feature is really cool. You can see my whole process of drawing Kilo right here in less than a minute. So yeah, that was cool. I did, I didn't actually, I didn't do anything. It was all Clip Studio that did it right. Uh, just do that feature. So I'm gonna close this out. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is actually show you how you can actually create that feature or not create, but how you can actually do this yourself in Clip Studio Paint. So first thing you want, you're gonna do is create a new file so go over here to file new <clears throat> and then what's cool is you can actually record your time lapse on any uh, anything a comic animation whatever but I'll just be using it for the illustration purposes and so once you have all your uh, presets select if you, once you have your presets selected or you have your own custom dimensions in uh, you go down here and make sure that this record time lapse button is uh, selected if it's not selected then when you draw your drawing uh, clip studio paint will actually record the process and so you want to make sure that this but this uh, yeah this button is selected and then just press ok to create a new canvas and then you can start drawing on it and when you start drawing on it, it's going to record the process for however long you're drawing. And what's also cool is when you save the canvas or save the project um, and exit out, out of the program, Clip Studio saves the point at which you stopped recording the, uh, or stopped drawing. And when you open the reopen the program, it starts to record your time lapse again when you start redrawing on the canvas and so you don't have to worry about losing your time lapse if you um, save and then exit the pro program uh, clip studio will automatically um, what's it called I guess uh, resume the time lapse uh, of your drawing and it's that simple really you don't really have to do anything you just press the record time lapse button and then start drawing and then <clears throat> and that's it and uh, yeah because like when I was drawing this I wasn't consciously thinking about that uh, I was just drawing my drawing and uh, I was able to create this and so the last thing I just want to show you is how to actually export the time lapse so you go up here to file down here to time lapse and then export uh, right now I can't export this because I already exported it but let's just, let's just say this is this is a uh, um, new illustration I created and so <clears throat> I'm gonna go down here to file time-lapse export time-lapse and then it's gonna give you a preview of the time-lapse and right now it's not giving me any length because I haven't drawn for that uh, long uh, but it will give you like a preset length of 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. And then you can choose 
the size, and then the aspect ratio. And the aspect ratio is cool because you can create different types of videos with it. This one's for 16 by 9 is for YouTube videos. This one's for, uh, I think, Instagram. Or that one might be for Instagram and then like TikTok videos too and stuff, stuff like that. Or you can just keep it as an original canvas size. But yeah, I just wanted to <clears throat> make this quick little video to uh, hopefully inform you about this new feature in Clip Studio. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video. So peace.